Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Let's just talk about the very large elephant in the room before we move on with this video, and that is what on earth is happening behind me right now? Have you been robbed, you're all asking? No, no I haven't, I am absolutely fine. Don't worry, nothing has been taken. I just thought I would try something a little bit different. We did think that we disappeared into the white background and a lot of you have been giving us your feedback saying that it was a little bit distracting having such a busy background. So we're changing it slightly. Right behind you at the moment is where my usual backdrop is. It's exactly the same at the moment, but I am going to be decorating and stripping it back making it far more simple so that it is less distracting. I hope that's going to be all right for everybody. Do let me know in the comments section whether you like this colour because you will be seeing it a lot more in future videos. So let's get on with this video. If you follow me on Instagram you will have noticed that I spent a rather large amount of money in Chanel the other day. This makes me so happy. Anyway, today I'm gonna to be reviewing one of the products that I bought from Chanel because it is the weirdest product I have ever seen. This is the brand new Le Beige de Town Water Fresh Tint. Check out my French, that was about take 10. I could not get that right. Eau de Town, Eau de Town. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, this is the weirdest foundation I've ever seen in my life. Let me just give you a look at this up close and personal. This looks like burnt split custard. There are little tiny floating spheres of pigment in here in a beautiful water glycerin base. This is super hydrating. Let's do a little bit of bump on this product before I get some on my face. So this is the brand new Chanel Le Beige Eau de Teint Water Fresh Tint Foundation. Like I said before, this is the weirdest foundation that I've ever seen because this is patented cutting edge microfluid technology that Chanel have used. You will not see this anywhere else other than Chanel. This is £48 in the UK, $65 in the US. You get 30 mils worth of product, but you also get a little brush as well, which is absolutely stunning, really firm, really dense, beautiful. I wish the handle was a little bit longer, but hey, you can't be picky. $65, £48 for both of these items. This comes in six different shades. It's a really, really sheer product. I've gone for the shade Light. This is 75% water and one of the main ingredients in here is glycerin. So this will be extremely hydrating, extremely nourishing, so beautiful on the skin. This has micro droplets of encapsulated pigments in here which should melt into the skin as soon as they touch the skin. This is something that I have never seen before. No plastic in this, they do look like little plastic beads but believe me there is no plastic in here whatsoever so this won't harm the environment. This has an ultralight formula, it's instantly refreshing as soon as it hits the skin and gives eight hours of hydration. This gives a radiant bare skin effect to the skin and it blurs and smooths out any imperfections. This is a sheer coverage product. If you don't want a sheer coverage product then you're going to have to use this more as skincare rather than as a foundation. Let's get some of this on. Okay so as per usual I have got all my skincare already on my face and I've given that plenty of time to sink into the skin before I'm applying any other product whatsoever. Now this particular foundation does not make any crazy 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 claims that this is going to last up to 24 hours. Oh no 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 no. This is an extremely hydrating product. I did ask the lady in store that I bought this from on the Chanel counter how long this particular foundation would last for and she did say hmm approximately four hours so this does not have great longevity however you can use this as skincare put this underneath your normal foundation as a base which will add so much luminosity and so much hydration to the face underneath your regular foundation or if you're just going for a brunch where you know you're going to be out for a few hours and you just want to look fresh and natural and glowing and <laughs> what are you talking about I woke up like this I know it's so exhausting having beautiful beautiful skin like mine 
then this might be the product for you. Let's get some of this on. This is just the weirdest product ever. Now it does say on the information that you should apply this to the back of your hand and then stick the brush in. However, when I was at the Chanel counter, they applied this directly to the brush because they said that the actual particles of pigment explode when they hit your skin. So you don't want that to happen on the back of your hand. You actually want that to happen on the face. So she applied two pumps of the product to the back of the brush and that's how I am gonna do it today. So let's get some of this out. <laughs> this is just really odd. It's a really weird looking product. Very strange. Okay, we're gonna apply this direct. Whoa, she, they are right. This explodes as soon as it hits the skin. This just feels like I'm putting water on the top of my skin. It is, it just feels like water. Now, when I had this put on me the other day, um, she did use the Bobbi Brown technique, whereas she used a lot more concealer than foundation. So this is really lovely and sheer. And if I needed any coverage whatsoever, she used a concealer. This feels glorious on my skin. Just put another pump of the product on there just for the forehead. I just look glowy really glowy. Now if you can see that's just cancelled all my redness out and just evened my skin tone out a bit. I am going to have to apply concealer underneath my eyes because this is not going to cover any pigmentation up that I've got around my eye area. But it's just starting to sink into the skin a little bit. Just a bit of pretentious wafting will help that dry. You all do it. You know you do. <laughs> this just feels stunning. So that does look like I have a tiny weeny bit of coverage, but again, this is a sheer, sheer foundation. Now this is buildable, but it's buildable to a fuller coverage of sheer foundation. So you are going to get either light sheer, medium sheer, or full sheer coverage. Whatever you do with this foundation, it's still going to be sheer. So if you want a full coverage foundation and you still want to use this product because it's super hydrating, then you are going to have to use this as skincare. But I love this. I really love this. It just looks like I woke up like this. And I love that because I so did not. <laughs> a bit of trickery and foolery. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Now I did buy a few other Chanel products over the weekend. Um, I didn't buy a concealer though, so I am gonna put my concealer on and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes. I've also got some around the corners of my nose where I've got a tiny bit of redness and I've put a tiny amount on the tip of my chin where I just feel like I need that little bit more coverage that this foundation doesn't give me. Apart from that, the foundation on my face is exactly the same. I've applied my eyebrows using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and that pencil alone. I haven't used any other products today. And I've got a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes Volume to on my lashes. None on the bottom though because I just want this look to be as natural as possible. Now continuing that natural theme, I don't really want to apply any powders to this look because I just feel it would mattify it a little bit. And I did buy some other products from Chanel the other day. Quite a few actually, but I'm going to use two of them in this video today. I'm going to use their best-selling bronzer, which is their cream bronzer. And... I'm going to use their cream blush as well. This is in the shade number 24, which is really peachy and warm and natural and just, ooh, really nice. So let's get some of the bronzer on first before I get some of the blush on my face. Now, the brush that she used was a really beautiful feathery type brush, more of a stippling brush with very light feathers on the end than a stiff brush. 
and I couldn't afford to buy the Chanel version of that brush so I have just been out and bought a synthetic brush this is one from Superdrug it's their own brand and I think it cost me around about $7.99, $8.99 for this particular brush and it's very very stipply on the end this shouldn't touch the skin really heavily to apply the product you want it to be really nice and natural okay so the brush will hardly touch the product at all get a tiny little swirl in there and I'm just going to apply some where I would normally apply my bronzer just to add to that little bit of colour but doesn't take any of the sheen away from the face it still looks super super natural nobody would know this is so beautiful and super buildable as well really nice So I'm just going to dust that off and apply the blush with exactly the same brush because I don't want to apply too much to my skin. I just, a funny feeling comes over me every time I open a brand new Chanel product. It's like angels are singing. Oh, how nice is that colour? I'm going to apply that to the back of my hand. Hello pigment and then apply that to the brush oh my goodness oh my goodness oh, I might just shed a little tear so subtle really really subtle the blush also has a tiny little bit of shimmer in there. It's really easy to build. So if you're wanting a more dramatic blush look, you could apply this directly to the cheek and just blend it out with your fingers. But I just do not want to get too much on today because the star of the show is the skin. So we're going to leave it at that, apart from a tiny little bit of the Bobbi Brown lip tint, which is my favourite for no makeup makeup days. This is her extra lip tint in the shade Bare Nude and then I put a tiny bit of Bare Melon just in the centre just to brighten that up a little bit. Mm. Oh, just So this is what is achievable when you have a small amount of products and a lot of money. There is a lot of money that has been spent on this makeup today. So that is a little bit of a, but I don't think I've ever seen my skin look as beautiful as it does right now. It looks like skin. It looks like it belongs to me. I haven't tried to cover it up in any way. It's just beautiful and glowing and fresh and natural. And I love that. There is a slight tackiness to this. Even now it's dried down a little bit. This will not be transfer resistant. So just be warned. Try not to wear anything white, she says, with a white top on. <laughs> this may be an error today. I am going to show you this in natural lighting before I get on with my day. This is not going to be a long wear test because this does not make any crazy claims that it's going to be a really long wearing foundation. But I'm hoping it's going to last the four hours. So I will check in with you a little bit later on. I'm going to show you this in natural lighting. See you in a tick. Okay, so this is this foundation in natural lighting. I absolutely love it. I think if you are not confident with your skin, this is going to be one that you want to dodge with a barge pole because you're not going to be comfortable all day. But I love how my skin looks at the moment. I've worked really, really hard on my skin, so it's looking really quite nice, even though I do still have a little bit of acne scarring on my cheek area. 
I can put up with that. It looks like skin. This foundation has just made everything look really glowy, really natural, just like I've put a moisturizer on my face and I am out of the door. My concealer hasn't blended in perfectly, so if you've seen any sort of mockling effect, that is the concealer. That's got nothing to do with this foundation. This is just gonna take a little bit of time getting used to blending everything out on top of something that is so, so sheer. I'm gonna be practicing with this all week, but my skin just looks, it looks fresh, it looks healthy, and I would definitely, definitely wear this on a day where I'm going out with the girls, just for a couple of hours in the afternoon. We're gonna see how long this actually lasts for. I will see you a little bit later on. Welcome back to the check-in. We are now at the four hour mark and I've got to say, I am super impressed with how my skin looks. There are a couple of patches that have worn off throughout the day where I may have been lent on my hand a little bit, shame on me. And there is a little patch on the end of my chin where there's no tint left and also on my nose. These are my problem areas. I have no problems touching these up throughout the day if this was to happen again. Now I am gonna be wearing this for the rest of the week. This does not make any crazy claims that it lasts a super lengthy amount of time and it definitely doesn't. It is slightly dewier than it was before as my natural oil have come through but it doesn't look crazy oily like a lot of tinted moisturizers or even tints do at this stage of the game. I really really like it. It's so super sheer even if it had sank into my fine lines I don't think you would notice. This actually doesn't even claim to be a foundation it claims to be a tint and that is exactly what it is. Just a very very fine layer of product sits on the skin just evens everything out makes everything look beautiful fresh glowy and just healthy, really, really healthy skin. Now, unless you are super, super confident about your skin, I don't think you're going to like this product because it really does show the skin underneath the product. This is not full coverage. This is not even super full sheer coverage. It is definitely a medium sheer coveraged tint. So unless you are super confident, I don't think you're gonna like this, but this just looks healthy and I don't even mind some of my acne scarring showing through on this. My skin feels so hydrated and nourished and beautiful. Anyway, I hope you found this review really, really helpful. I don't see the point in carrying on this wear test any further than now because it has started to break up. And at this stage in the game, I would be maybe adding a little bit of powder and just touching the foundation up a little bit. And in a wear test, I don't usually do that. So I'm gonna stop the wear test here. I hope you found this helpful. If you have, please do give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you're not already, there is a watermark in this corner. If you click on it, it will take you through to my homepage where you can subscribe. Hope to see you all again soon. Bye.